We have fire. To the coal.
Hello, Bill here with Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm glad you could join me for another episode. What you were watching in the beginning, I was processing down a, uh, a piece of European white birch into kindling and also some fatwood that I harvested up here. And uh, today I'm going to do a video on, uh, on pine needle tea and uh, hopefully include some information here that uh, many aren't aware of. Uh, first of all, it's very important uh, as to where you harvest the needles on the tree. And uh, what you want to look for is the uh, harvest the needles on the south facing side of the tree and preferably a tree that gets a lot of sunlight. You don't want one that's uh, back in the shade. Uh, that'll have the highest levels of vitamins and minerals and carbohydrates. And also, uh, you want to harvest needles that are further back on the branch, not right out on the end. The older needles will have a higher concentration of, uh, of uh, the uh, vitamins, minerals, and carbohydrates. Let's go take a look at a tree and harvest some. Stay tuned. Okay, we have here in front of us is a pine. And it's out in the open. This is a south-facing exposure. The only problem is a lot of the pines here, the, uh, in this particular location, the, uh, the branches are up pretty high, so they're kind of hard to get to. There are fur here, and you can make uh, tea out of the, uh, the fur. Let's go over here. There's a small one right here, some manzanita. Go over a little bit further here. We'll harvest uh, some uh, needles off uh, one of these saplings. So what you're looking at here, this will be the south facing side of the tree, southern exposure. And if you go back on the branch, Sorry about that. Ah, trying to squeeze back in here. If you go back on the branch here, you're going to get to the needles that are further back on this particular branch. So here's, here's the end. And you can use those. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're looking for quality, you go down the branch. And here's, uh, here's the older needles. And if you go back even one more branch, these are even older needles here. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this little uh, this little branch here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the camera down. It's pretty hard to do with one hand. Stay tuned. Okay, I went ahead and took the little branch off. And here's the needles. That'll make a fine cup of tea. Now I've got to get a fire going over here. Uh, everything is really damp out here. Just coming out of winter time and everything is really saturated. So that's why I brought that piece of uh, European white birch, that little log with me to uh, process it down into kindling. And uh, I have the fat wood there. So I'm gonna see if I can get this fire, get this fire here going. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the camera for a few and see if I can get this going. I've got my fat wood and kindling all set up there, so stay tuned. I shall return. Hello, welcome back. It looks like uh, fat wood saved the day. I've got those wet pieces on top of the fire there, kind of drying out. So what we're gonna do is I removed the pine needles. And the part that attaches to the branch, we're going to cut that woody section off here. Cut it off nice and flush. 
way to prepare these, the proper way to do pine needle tea is to cut the pine needles into pieces about oh a half inch to an inch long. They don't have to be exact. And what this does, it opens up the, the needle and allows the uh, beneficial properties that are inside to, uh, to come out, to be released. I see people, they do them whole, stick them in the, uh, in a pot or whatever hole. I mean, you can do it that way, and it'll still work. It just doesn't work quite as efficiently. So a pretty good little handful here. What I'm going to do now I'm a big fan of military surplus gear these stainless steel canteens with uh, the nesting cups and they have a ventilated lid here so you can decanter liquids off they're absolutely wonderful. I've been up here today collecting some fat wood and a cup of pine needle tea actually sounds really good about now. So just take the needles, throw the needles in the water. The main rule when you're dealing with any herb is to never boil, never boil the herbs. If you boil herbs, you're destroying the beneficial components, vitamins and other medicinal components. So what you want to do is, you want to get it hot but not boil it. When I, do, uh, when I do hot water decoctions, I'll take the water up. I use a meat thermometer in the water. I'll take the water up to around, I take the water up to around uh, 160, 170 degrees and I keep it there. If you get it up to boiling and you boil it, the longer you boil, the, uh, the more uh, beneficial components, vitamins, and other uh, medicinal components of whatever herb you're using, it degrades the potency. If you do it long enough, you're just basically drinking liquid without any uh, without any uh, benefits. And here in a little bit, uh, right after we get done with this video, I'm going to do a uh, a video on how to do a pine knot torch. I cut this in the end. Is fat wood. Pine knot torches are a very, very old way of making a torch the way they did for many, many centuries. And I'm going to outline how to do that here in a little bit. So, what we're doing is we're just going to heat this up and get it warm and allow it to steep for a little while. That fat wood's still kicking off, it's drying this. Uh, this wood that's on top, I'm going to toss a little bit more in here so it can start drying. Everything is so saturated out here. The sun's starting to go down, so temperature's dropping off. It's a lot of moisture out here. Toss this stuff on here so it'll it'll start to the heat from the fire will start to dry it out. still have some of that birch here that I split just in case the fire needs a little extra but I'm just heating up some tea and then I'm gonna light the pine knot torch in there so 
I don't need a huge amount of huge amount of fire. I see some of that wet wood is starting to catch finally. Absolutely beautiful up here. And I know this stuff isn't quite ready yet. I'm just going to stuff it right up in here. Yeah, I've been out harvesting uh, some more fat wood and uh, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, I, uh, I split up a bunch of it into smaller pieces and uh, along with some of the birch bark and it, it kicked right off and burnt nice and hot. There's still some of it burning down there in the bottom. Fatwood is uh, absolutely great if you're trying to get a fire going in, uh, in uh, wet conditions. You can see how dark the ground is out here. I mean, it's just saturated with a couple pine cones up in here. Burning pretty good now. It's actually starting to take off pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pause the video so uh, I don't bore you guys while this is warming up and uh, get that water nice and hot and uh, I'll go ahead and come back and we'll take a look at the tea and uh, give it a taste test. So I've been drinking pine needle tea for years so I already know what it's going to taste like. And uh, for those of you who have never tried it, I uh, highly recommend it. It's very healthy. Uh, you have carbohydrates, vitamin, a lot of vitamin C, vitamin A, a lot of minerals. It's an expectorant. Uh, in other words, it'll loosen phlegm in the lungs and the uh, bronchial tract. Uh, makes your coughs more productive. It's very good for that purpose. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. I shall return. Okay, welcome back, guys. took it off just before it started to boil. It's steeping right now. Ooh, that lid's hot. My handy dandy. See it steaming here. It's been steeping for probably a good five or ten minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let that I'm gonna let this cool over here just a few give it about five minutes or so and uh, I'm going to decanter that off decanter that off into a cup and uh, go ahead and uh, enjoy a cup of tea stay tuned I'll be back all right let's go ahead and pour this off here nice thing I like about this military nesting cup it has the uh, the vents in the lid so you can decanter liquids off I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that uh, pine knot torch video here and then wrap it up and get out of here pretty soon can't really see the color of the liquid but it has kind of a it'll get kind of a greenish tint to it and if you've never tried pine needle tea it's kind of a well different trees have different slightly different flavors uh, so you can kind of experiment around with them but they uh, they can have kind of a kind of a lemony flavor uh, it kind of varies but you can make tea out of pine uh, spruce cedar and fir. The uh, cedar trees uh, are, uh, they have a lot of medicinal purposes, the, uh, the teas. I just did a video, you'll find that on my channel, it's a few videos down on, uh, on uh, incense cedar. Mmm, well that's good.
Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it for you today. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night, depending on where you're located. And I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody have a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye.